Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. midnight tonight on the east coast of the united states and here we go uh, if you uh, if you're just joining us you probably just got through watching uh, the debate i watched the debate as much of it as i could before coming in here to get this show ready to go on the air uh and um we shall uh, uh continue to do our best uh, to entertain you this evening uh tonight i was supposed to have an interview with stephen pearl who is a regular on the program, is a very funny comic. I just like talking with him because we banter stuff around and he gets goofy and talks about old-timey rock and roll and things like that, and he's really good at it. So uh, I I had a problem yesterday because he couldn't do it at the last minute because he had problems with his car, and the day before he had problems with his cat. I know. This is, uh, follow me on this one. He had troubles with his cat. His cat had problems with his eye, and they had to remove the cat's eye. And so they took the cat to the vet, and uh, then he brought him back home. And then he could do the interview today. So we did the interview today, and I want you to watch this. And about seven minutes in, it gets cut short. Find out why. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite an adventure getting this man on Ooh. This when is Stephen Pearl, pours. ladies and gentlemen. What? When it rains, it pours. Disaster. All right. Well, tell us the beginning of your of your travails. First, oh, well, first, first of all, I'm having shit with my landlord who got my name off the gate, so I have to kind of like find other ways to get in. No, wait a minute. But, wait a minute. Well, but why? Because she's an idiot. Well, Holy wait a minute. That, that doesn't speak it. I mean, why are they taking your name? Off? You paid your rent, right? Yeah, until this month, and I'm not paying it unless that's my name. I'm going to probably have to find another place to move. Over the summer, my air conditioning broke down during a, a, when it was 115 degrees out and 107 degrees inside. Right. And my landlord refused to be, you fix it. You fix yourself. You broke it. You fix it. So uh, we had a big fight over that. She finally had it fixed eight, after me living on the sun for eight days. And uh, we've been on, it's been bad blood ever since, which is weird because we've been friends for 30 years and we travel the world together and had fun together but we're not friends anymore so wow she wants me out of here because i complained about that and uh and uh, what else oh my cat had an infection as well, I wait, 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 let's say let first let's take this okay. you rented this apartment from essentially a friend yeah for two years ago yeah and it, it's a five-year lease right yeah yeah that's what it says and and so because you have a five year lease, doesn't that hold? I mean, you know, it isn't just a lease saying you're responsible for five years. It says say that, no, it doesn't say. It just says she would be happy to have me here to live up for the five years. She signed it, and I signed my name, and they stamped it, and there you go. So I don't know what else. Well, I then you're, you're 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 legally okay. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm afraid they're going to come and throw me out or change the lock or something. I don't know how quickly they can do that, but uh, you know, so we. Yeah, I don't know. She just. You'll get out by October 1st. Well, I have not been served with any papers. I have not been given a, a get-out order. She just wanted me out by October. She sent me a nasty also, email. Also, isn't there something going on in uh, in your state, which is Nevada, Nevada. That, that says they can't evict you during the corona crisis? I don't well, I don't know how it's going. I think it only lasts till next week. So, and I've been paying my rent until now. So, you're, you, know. you you if you if, of course this means you have to get a lawyer and you don't want to you can't afford uh, a lawyer. I'm looking for one. I'm uh, looking for one. Nobody uh, wants me. I call legal aid and they just like scolding me. Don't you know you call this this is the second time you call. We don't want you call. We don't need you. <laughs> really? That's yeah, legal they, aid. They, I see. They were assholes, man. They were assholes. They oh, were not. You know, I wish I were a lawyer. I'd fly out there and help you. But I mean, I'm if, out, Mr. Steinberg, cause I mean, because I because I believe believe this is a slam dunk you got a piece of paper saying i want i allow him to stay here for five years as long as you keep paying rent then he, she's got to do it well yeah, i haven't paid this month so you know i'm not uh, well but this month you haven't paid not because you didn't want because you didn't have the money you didn't pay because of all that she's been doing 
Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. So, I mean, they uh, take your name off the gate. That's pretty severe. That's fucked up. I'm an old, I'm an old handicapped man. I got heart medicine in here. I got my cats in here. I got this. It's, it's fucked. You yeah, know? yeah. So yeah. Uh, I mean, you. If I were a, a lawyer, I could go to court and get this. I, I, I think any lawyer would be happy to jump at a case like this, but they know, no, we can't help you. I'm going to charge well, you thousand dollars. No, but why would they jump at a case like this? They're not going to make a lot of money off a case like this. They're not going to make any money on it, but you know, it would, be, it would add to their prestige. Yeah. And, their truth and I notice a cat in back of you. Yeah, I got the. Which one is back? Is that, uh, oh, I am. Yeah. 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 Where is he? Where is he? I can't see him. You see him? There he is. There he is. Yeah. yeah. Why'd you call him Siam? He's not a Siamese. Uh, yes, he is. Is he? Really? Yeah, Siamese. Uh, my, my wife named him Siam, and she named the other one Nishi. He's the one now, who had the eye operation, and I named Muddy Waters Muddy Waters. Now, what's the story with your cat? My second born cat, Nishi, had an infected eye, and he had to have it taken out. So that sucked. So. Luckily, there's good people out there. I went on GoFundMe and we raised the, uh, you know, a good amount to take care of the operation. So, right now he's he's being his he's like Sammy Cat. He's happy and dancing and hugging Nixon. He's got one eye. So, um, is that is that, disgu is that disgusting or does he wear a patch over the eye? <laughs> a patch, yeah, like moist, moisty meow. So uh, no, he's got a little slit there. You know, just a little. Close Probably thing. should change his name to Sammy. Sammy the cat. Yeah. Winky the man. You know, yeah. Good uh, because, uh, but um, um, it, what I love about this is, is you're a big rock and roll fan, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's a song, and the lyrics to the song goes like a one-eyed cat peeping in a seafood yeah, store. Yeah, I know. Even a lot of tuna fish, so you know he yeah. likes it. Like yeah. a one-eyed cat peeping in a seafood store. What song is that? Right, shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. Yeah, yeah. Joe Turner. Yeah, later on, Bill Haley and Elvis. That, isn't that? Well, technically, that's not the first rock and roll record. It's the first, one of the big early rhythm and blues records. So it's so debatable, which is the first rock and roll record. Well, the first know. rock and roll record, they say, was Rocket 88, Ike Turner. It could be called rhythm and blues or rock and roll or, or grandmammy or whatever you want to call it. You know, again, it's whatever it is. There's, there are records from the 30s that rocked out. So, you know. Like, yeah, uh, but it, it, it there's a certain style to rock and roll that all those other, those other things were more blues driven. Yeah, yeah. Rock but, and roll wasn't blues driven. It was a combination of rockabilly and yeah. blues. Like, and, and everything came together. Yeah. It's a tragic mulatto music. Oh, keep but isn't going. it strange that the first big hit for rock and roll was by this white guy who didn't even play rock and roll. He was really a lounge singer. Yeah. Bill Haley. Well, yeah. His, his band looked like a winning bowling team from New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the right. Hi, give me a safer. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That's uh, but uh, um, you know, I mean, I, I was, I was amazed when I saw, uh, um, What's his name? Um, oh, my God. Bill, what? What? There's blood on the floor. What happened here? There's blood on the oh, floor? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. My cat's eye is hemorrhaging. I don't believe this. Hey, hey, hey. This is horrible. Hey. Hold on. <laughs> oh, this is happening oh. in real time, folks. Oh, God. This is horrible. Oof. Oh, Hold God. On. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hey, if you want to make this another day, we can do it. Oh, oh. okay. I got to take care of this, brother. Okay. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Well, listen, I will, we'll, we'll cut this do short. This or something. I don't know what's going we'll on do, here. We'll, I just have oh, Let's God. do this next week, and I'll run part of this tonight so people okay, can see it all... happening in real time. Ladies hey. and gentlemen, sorry. get you. Get them to the doctor quick. Bye. Okay, I got to do this. Bye. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, that's Stephen Pearl, and uh, he's um, uh, he's uh, right. he just uh, got a problem with his cat who had his eye removed, and now apparently it's hemorrhaging, and he's got to get him back to the hospital. So, oh boy, that's it. Well, <laughs> that's it for Stephen Pearl for this week. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that uh, that was our little adventure today um i don't want to leave you in suspense because next week we'll have another interview with him which i'm going to do tomorrow and he'll explain what went on but i got a note from him tonight saying that he got the cat home from the vet the vet saw what was going on 
uh, said, uh, not to worry, we'll take care of this. He patched it up or did whatever, put a big cone over the cat's neck, and he is now resting, and the cat is uh, in uh, going to live. Uh, with one eye, but with live, okay? Man, talk about bad luck. Boy, amazing, just amazing. Well, anyway, uh, let me see here. Where are we? Oh, yeah. So uh, tonight was uh, the big debate, uh, Kamala Harris versus uh, 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 Bob Pence. What's his name? Pence. I, all I ever call him is Pence, you know. Um, and uh, I watched it, and I, I was looking at, you know, I go, well, go, Drudge always runs a poll, okay? He always runs a poll. Uh, let me see. Can I show it to you here? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let me see here. Let me. There's the poll. See, it's right here. See Drudge poll. Who won VP debate 2020? All right. Now you can vote like I'll vote for Kamala Harris there, right there. Okay. See? Okay. Then you can go down here and view the result. Well, vote, and then you can view the results, or you can just view, go over there and view the results. Look at this. Look at this. Now, you know, the people who go to Drudge are kind of on the, on the right wing. Kamala came out with almost 69% to uh, Pence's um, 31%. Uh, pretty good, huh? 59,213 votes for Kamala Harris, 26,611 for Mike Pence. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, that, that's the way the, the, the country is seeing it. I I don't think it uh, it it uh, it was kind of amazing. Pence bloody eye raises alarm. I was let me go back to this. Look at that. See that? I saw that, uh, and I wondered maybe he's got corona. I don't know. Maybe something's wrong there. Man, these are the sickest bunch of people to ever run a country. Hmm. Amazing. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's what's been going on uh, uh, on uh, the TV. I don't know if we're going to have anybody tonight, because last time uh, there was a debate, I thought afterwards everybody would call up and we'd have a ton of people calling, and I actually had to call the uh, show off early. I almost wasn't going to do a show tonight, number one, because I was kind of tired. And um, and I had all kinds of things. I just threw away some trash. Uh, I um, uh, was going to call it off because I, I was having all kinds of problems tonight, and I'm just was just kind of like out of it um, because uh, I, all of a sudden uh, I, I go to my um, my uh, mail site, okay where I do all my mail <clears throat> and I wanted to change the um, I wanted to change the password because I like to do that every now and then because people they, you know that's the one thing they want to go after so I um, um, changed the password and when I went to um, Outlook which I don't use it took the new password but when I went to the Apple thing it wouldn't take the new password. Who knows? You know, I, I have no idea what was happening. But anyway, um, it took me a good 50 minutes to an hour to get the thing solved. So uh, I was so exhausted from that. That and the fact that I was trying to install a, a, a monitor I got from Marjorie's office in my other studio just to see if I could get it working so I can maybe have a better one here uh, and it uh, I was having all kinds of troubles with that I, I should wait I should say I'm not going to do anything I'm not going to put together this monitor stand and I'm not going to do any of that until it's the weekend and then I'll do it on the weekend then I got the whole weekend to get it right but here I didn't so you know Anyway, let's go take a look at our, um, uh, let me see. First of all, if I go over here, and let me go to the Zoom panel, okay? And we'll start 
admitting all the people that are waiting to come on. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Here they go. Uh, uh, let me see here. I'm going to go to gallery view. There we go. And uh, there's, our, there's our panel so far. Uh, Jeff and John Larkin, better known as Budosis today. Where are you getting these names from? Well, you're just making just make them up. up. You're just making them up now, right? Huh? You're just making them up now, right? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, Bud Doses. I used to live in the hate, and somebody used to always uh, subscribe to magazines, free magazines, and send them to the whole neighborhood with, with the name Bud Doses, because you know all the dealers would go Bud Doses. Oh, Bud, Bud doses. doses. I see. I get it. Bud Pot Doses a dose of pot. Da 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 da. Okay. And uh, hello, Jeff. How you doing? What's the I'm great. What does your T-shirt say? Oh, uh, this one? Yeah. All right, I got to show you the whole thing. Oh, well, don't strip on this. Sir. Wow. Gelato tour. Where did you do a gelato? Right. Did you do a gelato tour? Yeah. And how about this? Oh, Rome, oh. Siena, San... Oh, of course. There's nothing like gelato in, in Italy. It's just, you know, there's not ice cream. There's just gelato. There goes your light again, John. Anyway, uh, I don't know how many people we're going to have tonight because last time there was a debate. Afterwards, there were hardly any. So let's see if we can keep mm. this thing going for the whole whole time. Huh? But uh, ho well, hopefully ho they'll call. What? Hopefully they'll call. Hopefully they'll somebody... call. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, let's uh, let's let's dissect the. Thing so far, uh, I I judge you all watched it. Not me. You didn't watch it. Why? I don't watch debates. It's a waste of time. I already know I'm gonna vote for. All right, so I already have voted for Biden. Yeah, but I mean, come on, it's like wrestling. You're gonna root <laughs> for somebody, right? Yeah. You want to see one person sucker punch the other? Okay, so who sucker punched who tonight? I don't know if there were any sucker punches, but I will tell you, Pence does not know when he's supposed to shut up. Yeah, right. Oh, not again. Well, no, no. What happened now, I, I said to Marjorie, I said, this is a redo of Trump, but he's doing it in a more civil manner. Yeah. Yep. But still, yep. oh. they would ask him to answer a question. First of all, he wouldn't answer the question. He yep. always, <laughs> you know, brought it around to whatever... In fact, both of them were kind of guilty of this. And you would ask them a question, and then they'd start answering what somebody had said before. I mean, it was it was insane. But uh, he would go on his reply to something, and then he would keep going, keep going. Then the the uh, moderator would say, "Okay, your time's up," and he would just keep going like he doesn't even hear her. Not like like he heard her, but he's going to keep going. It's like he didn't hear her. You think maybe he's a little hard of hearing or something. And she keeps saying, I'm sorry, Mr. Pence, your time is up. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Am I right, Jeff? You saw it, right? Yep. And, and, the, and the bug didn't sh shut up either. The what didn't shut up? The didn't bug you see the hair. bug on his head? No. It, oh, Yeah. Twitter was all over it. <clears throat> really? A bug yeah, on his head? Yeah, a big black bug right on his head right. for about 10 minutes. <laughs> really? I didn't notice that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah here it says, game. bizarre moment, huge fly sticks to Mike's head for two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> and he didn't even swat it or anything? No. He didn't know it was there. He didn't, he didn't know it was there? Well, I guess I guess it uh, proves he doesn't have a central nervous system. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. A, it just, with that white hair, it just stuck out like Please, a sore thumb. Yeah. I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it. But <laughs> what the hell? But did you notice his eye? There was something wrong with his eyes. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. they have a picture of it on uh, on Drudge here. Uh, and I'll, I'll show it again. Open of the eye? Huh? Is it COVID of the eye? Well, I was thinking it was the beginning of COVID or something like that. Let me see if I can, uh, can I make this bigger than I would normally have it? Let me do this. 
Okay, now let me, well, it doesn't show it that much better, but here's the picture right here. Uh, you guys can't see it, um, but that's, look at that. that there's kind of like a redness there, like somebody bopped him in the eye or something. Uh, <coughs> anyway, so that's, uh, that's you know, he was, uh, he, 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 had, he had his problems. I bet she was glad being behind plexiglass. Mm. Yeah. Um, but it's it's just uh, I I just felt um, I didn't feel it was as combative as the last one, but the same kind of rudeness was going on that went yeah. on in the other one, only in a more civil manner. So that's uh, I, I thought uh, Harris was pretty good. Um, you know, um, I don't think she hurt uh, Biden at all. You know, I don't, I don't. I don't think it's gonna do Trump any good. You yeah. Know? Mm. Here comes uh, here comes Brian. <laughs> He's known tonight night uh, tonight as fly on shit. But you you don't you you don't want me to get demonetized, so you put an asterisk in there. I'm so kind to you. Yes. I know you're so kind the, to me. The fly stole the show tonight. I, I didn't notice the fly. I'll have to go back and look at the fly. I told my son there's going to be so many memes now about that fly, and sure enough, they're nonstop on Facebook already. <laughs> yeah. Well, the easiest one is just what you're saying. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, what are, what are flies attracted to? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, how did you feel? Um, how did you feel she did, Brian? I think she did good. I think there's still some spots that they could have really, you know, gone after them a little bit. But at least in a, and the the moderators, right? I'm going to be in control of this, and they they keep letting Pence just talk and talk and talk. And she was being very respectful. You know, she's holding back, but she was being respectful and letting him finish his whole thing. Moderators, though, they don't take any control. But she, I think she did good. No, she. The moderator kept saying, uh, "Your time's up, your time's yeah. up, your time's up." I think she should have said, "Did you hear me, Mr. P the, uh, Vice President Pence? Your time is up," and shouted at him. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, he just and it wasn't like he just kept going for a little bit, like over his time, which you know, okay. You want him to finish his thought. He went like a minute in one case and just kept going and kept going, kept going, kept going. Uh, but the taxes she got out and she got out a lot of stuff that, you know, to the point was good. Well, when he said, you, you know, do you want to add two more people to the Supreme Court? And, you know, are you going to do you want to pack the Supreme Court? I thought she should have immediately come back with the answer. Well, what do you think you're doing? If the, yeah, if, if, I, you I know. thought she did. I thought she, she did. She, said, she yeah, did later about... on, but what she did is she, he, she, associated it with the appointments to the district courts as well, yeah. and then said, and there are no black, there were not one black judge appointed. Yes, uh, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering, is this, I lost the YouTube feed. Has anybody else lost it? Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh yeah, yeah. Some YouTube feed got cut off too. Hmm. Well, let me see here. Uh, bu 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 uh, YouTube right, feed, huh? yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I couldn't get on and the YouTube feed. It's um, hmm. Wow, this is um. Okay, let me see here. Let me see what I gotta do here because it's it's recording, so you know that's that's fine. Oh okay. But uh, I gotta. Oh, it's it's back on now. It's back on. Yeah, it was off when I was trying to log on. I had problems, and the YouTube feed was off. Now it's back. You know on. something? It, the problem is, is that YouTube has this kind of occasionally. Ha they very seldom have this problem, but you know they're entitled. Uh, I went for a long time without having this happen, uh, and now we only have six people watching. See, killed my audience. Oh my God. <laughs> You know, could have been a it could have been a glitch in in YouTube. It could have been an overpowering of YouTube of people having watched the debate. You know, uh, any one of a number of things. But if you want to, folks, see the whole show, uh, you can see it uh, right here, right here uh, on uh, uh, on Gabnet later on. Watch the YouTube feed. I because I've been recording it. So who knows what I thought, happens? 
I felt sorry more for for Stephen's uh, cat. My God, the yipe, the, yeah. the sounds he was making, so sad. It, it, oh, I mean, it was. It, I, 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 you know, I mean, I love animals, and when I heard this, I yeah. said, "Oh my God!" And he called me later, and he said, "No, he said I, I didn't have to put him down. The doctor fixed him up, put a cone around his, put a satellite dish as he put it around oh. his neck, yeah. and we brought him home." He probably was scratching at his eye is what he's probably yeah. doing. Probably what happened, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, you know. Uh, anyway. So, anyway, so uh, uh, I guess we are back on, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I felt yeah. she did a good job. I, I, I think um, he's, he's very off-putting, you know. I mean, he's such a blatant... He's, well, he's not a liar. He's a guy who takes his version of the truth and molds it to his thinking. And anything that doesn't fit, he kind of, you know, jiggers with. Yeah. Uh, it's not like he's exactly a liar. He's a... Liar. A liar. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't just blatantly make shit up like Trump does. <laughs> yeah, no, I, but, I mean, he's a liar. Um, it says, Zoom link, please. Uh, video version of a citizen panel. Well, I, I, I'm sorry. Why don't you just? I'll tell you, Bree. If you want a Zoom link, and I don't know, I don't know what happened. Oh, it just started all over again. That's the reason why. This thing is not going to be looking good. Anyway, I'm going to have a lot of work for me after the show's over tonight. Uh, because yeah. it did, it, 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 yeah, it didn't go back and continue the feed. It just started its own feed that doesn't have all the regular stuff. Okay, uh, so if you want it, Bree, all you have to do is go to gabnet.net, gabnet.net, and over on the right-hand side of the page, in the right-hand column in the middle of the page, it says "click here for Zoom," and that'll do mm -hmm. it for you. Okay. So I'm sorry, I'll, I'll change it back to the way it was uh, earlier, later tonight. Um, I, I don't know what the hell happened here, but what it did is it just simply started again. And uh, last, the last show, um, it, it, it just started a whole new uh, version of the show. So I have to go back and I have to, oh, forget it. Uh, you people can just you, go over to YouTube uh, and uh, look for the uh, live show, the show that's from YouTube, not the one that says live on YouTube, and you will get the program, all of it, okay, because that's being recorded. Oh, boy. It, it isn't one thing, it's another. Anyway, so did you get me, Bree? That's how you go there. I've, I've mentioned this any number of times, folks, that in order to... Uh, uh, get a hold of us on Zoom. Just go to gabnet.net, and over on the right-hand side of the page, in the middle of the page, in the right-hand side of the page, in the middle of that column, it says "click here to Zoom," whatever, and you just do that, and it, there it is. Okay. So, Bree should have it in his last meetings, also. Yeah, he should have it in his last meetings, but apparently, yeah. he was the one that kept saying, "Go to Zoom, go to Zoom, use Zoom." Well, you should know how to do that, Bree. <laughs> And you better call now since I've gone to this trouble of, uh, of explaining this to you. Uh, here comes, what, 12? Uh, this one I don't know. We may have to get rid of them fast, okay? Let's see here. 12062. Uh, let me see here. Who is this? Who is this? Uh, is, it, <laughs> is this anybody we know? Am I gonna have to? Am I gonna have to get rid of you? Are you gonna unmute yourself? Well, well, I will now say um, I'm gonna put him back in the waiting room. There we go. Okay. Anyway, uh, who knows uh, who he is? Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, and I could remove him. But if it's somebody we know, they can't. Uh, they can't. Um, uh, if I remove them, they can't call back. Is what the problem is. You could have taken a jab at him too, you know, and say, "Aren't you supposed to be in isolation right now?" You know, they're not doing any contact, any contact uh, tracing. 
So contact tracing, he should be there. And, and, and also, the, she asked one question about the Rose Garden event, and he sort of went around that, you know? He yeah. talked for you know, two minutes about nothing, and then he got rushed off it. Wow. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it was, it was quite a... It was, uh, I think that um, uh, he just... He was trying to run out the clock, you know? Uh, he was, as I say, no different than Trump, except that uh, they didn't cut off his mic. They should have cut his mic off when she said, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Vice President Bozo, uh, and then gone over to her. But they didn't. There was no cutting of the mics. And I, I think they felt they didn't need to because, well, it isn't Trump, and he isn't going to do what Trump did. But he did a version of it, Yeah, you know? Yeah. And well, I think I think Trump trained him. Uh, really? To do that on purpose. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. uh, because, but, I, huh? My mother would always say that if you lied, you'd get a pimple on your tongue. Really? Or a fly on your head. Or yeah. a fly on your head. I think I think he might have a pimple on his tongue right now how do you people feel well you know to talk i i i, I wish you, uh, you see brie after all that brouhaha oh he says i'm on ipad well you can go to gabnet dot net on your ipad why do i have to teach this guy how to do everything <laughs> uh, i guess i do uh, let me see here. Ah, oh, here comes comes Bertie. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put the number on there. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> I was gonna put the num the meeting number on there, but if he's coming on. Yeah. Well, you know, the trouble is, if you put the me meeting number, they don't have an easy meeting number. You know, it's not like it's something I have to cut and paste all the time because I'm not gonna yeah. type all that. Like I might out. post it. You <laughs> post it. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. Oh, and here come here comes Tony. Okay. Zoom always saves it in your little thing, though. Your yeah. Little thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't have to Are you there, it. Bree? There he is. They said but it that... doesn't save it when you have twenty gadgets, uh, <laughs> seven different Zoom uh, IDs, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Well, quit so doing that. Go... So I went on my laptop mm -hmm. and I I got the link there and I tried to post it to the YouTube chat, but they won't let you post a link in the YouTube chat. So I had to email it oh, to really? my iPad's Gmail and open it from well, there. Let me see if I could do that. Let me see if I could do that. But of course it wouldn't get anybody to do anything what they haven't already mm -hmm. done. But uh, let me see Zoom. And then I get the thing and I cut and paste it. Okay, so I go uh, copy. All right, now I move over here. Come on, all right. Now I go over to the thing here and let me see here, Zoom. Okay, and then I go boom, V. There goes my cut and paste. Yeah, I was able to cut and Vernon? paste it. Yeah. See? Ver Vernon put uh, black you can do flies it. matter. I can't do it. Black flies matter. Black flies matter. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Vernon, you nasty human being. We like that. Did you see it? Uh, did you see the debate, uh, Brie? No, I, I woke up at 10 o'clock here just about an hour ago. So, and after I had breakfast, I'm just sitting down now to end my study. So I didn't, I, I did see the uh, two minutes to fly on Pence's head. That was the, that was the update I got. <laughs> of course, that's the most important thing you want to know about a debate. First well, that's going to be the biggest, that's going to be the biggest takeaway tonight, you know. Um, uh, and, and, and the memes are going to fly left and right there's no question about it you know yeah um anyway the point is that uh um uh, it was i think it it was an important night because i think this is going to be the last debate if you want my opinion i don't think there's going to be a debate next week with trump uh if for no other reason than i think Biden doesn't want to get anywhere near him right now because anybody who does comes down with COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, There's 34 people now in the White House. This is. 34? 34? That's what the, I just well, saw the headlines before I got on. 
let's let's not forget that at that first debate, Trump and possibly half his staff and family were contagious, and yeah. they came, and they yeah. went in there. They they literally could have killed Biden, I, inadvertently perhaps, anybody, yeah. but yeah. indirectly yeah. perhaps. But definitely there was a risk to expose Biden to and they that. Refused to put the masks on. <clears throat> That is, if you think about it, if Biden came down with it and died, oh, wow, wow, that, that, I, I couldn't even imagine that, you know, I mean, Trump goes in and he probably knew he, he had to know he had symptoms, you know? Well, if Biden had had it and wound up in the hospital and Trump <clears throat> had it and wound up in the hospital like he should be right now, then I suppose the debate tonight would be bef between the two presidential candidates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. it was but it was um, uh, my question is, at this point, you know, you look at the uh, you look at some of these statistics around the country and it looks like and a lot of people are saying that they've never seen uh, poll numbers like this prior to an election for a president that had been this strong. Yeah. Where the guy ever lost that. You know, Trump should start packing up his stuff already. <laughs> because I, can't say that, though. I, I mean, in some cases, you've got a 17 <clears throat> percent lead. I want more. Hmm. Uh, I want like 40 percent. What's the record? <laughs> What's the biggest landslide? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm trying to think of big landslides. In my time. Nixon, Reagan probably. I mean, Nixon caught, was a big landslide. Based on... Based on media reports, yeah. in, based on media reports in 2016, I would have told you that it was going to be Clinton in a landslide. Yeah, yeah. However, the numbers, <clears throat> poll numbers she was getting in advance of her race, uh, is nothing like this. Nope. No. You know, uh, she, she was getting half of what Biden's getting. Who? I think Reagan won. Won all. Won 49 states. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think Mondale only won uh, one state. Yeah, that was a landslide. Yeah, we're not going to see that kind of thing <laughs> happening now. I don't think we're ever going to see that kind of thing happening ever again, because the American public is so polarized that certain states are just yeah. impossible, uh, po possible nut to crack. Although, you know, I mean, South Carolina is kind of getting to look like it's in play. Mm -hmm. It looks like their senatorial race down there may go. Yeah another way uh, it's going to be an interesting month as they total this up because we're not going to get the uh, the answer the first night although trump is going to declare victory exactly you know yeah i agree i agree when you said that last night i think he's going to say up oh, here we are we're, we're the winners say his speech and, and try yeah. to end everything right there and then when I, they I try to right. when they try to to I go for all the mail-in votes. He's going to try and put up a, a, you know, go to the Supreme Court and say you can't count those. I think uh, oh, he'll call in the military. I think Biden's going to win the in 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 the you know, voting at the polls. I think Biden's going to win that. After the way Trump's been acting this week, I think Biden's going to win that. Well, well you, I think New York and California, sure, but I don't think the Midwestern states. Well, my, those are going to be close. My question is, and, and this is all speculative, folks, but what do you think is really going on in the White House? I mean, do you think he's well? Do you think he's sick? What do you think? Yes, I Jay. think lots of drugs are difficult, regardless of what's going on. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he's sick at the same time, and also he's a little bit of a mental case anyway. Well... That, that's a three pieces of a problem. Charlie? Yeah, I've been watching videos of Trump all day, and I think I'm starting to come around to the, yeah, he's really sick. And he's just trying to figure out a way to use uh, his sickness for his advantage, but he's really sick. And he's kind of ignoring that he's sick. He's ignoring his medical uh, advice. He's, he's ignoring his doctors. And I think... I think he actually may die from this. I he, think he's, he's so stupid. He's, he's telling his doctors what to do. Yeah, mm -hmm, he won't listen to his doctors. I think he's going to end up killing himself. 
I you think there's a good chance of that. What do you, what do you think, Bree? Would you agree with that assertion? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I don't understand three or four days, you know, uh, in the hospital. I, I, that really perplexes me. Um, I, the other thing, though, people were saying he was wheezing and stuff. Well, he climbed up those stairs, uh, you know, which he's never used before. I, I think I would be wheezing after climbing up those stairs. So but, I don't think that was a good but, move but, on but, his but behalf. He, no, but he didn't look like he was wheezing particularly. I mean, I, yes, I said he was going up those stairs. But the way he was breathing, yeah, really? because it yeah, was no doubt, it no was doubt. it I was very bad... labored breathing. It wasn't it wasn't <clears throat> I'm tired from going up the stairs breathing. You know, we go, <sighs> let me catch yeah, my breath. Yeah. That's, did you guys that's true? Did you guys that, see the sopita? Escheshmia or something? Escheshmia. Yeah, There's is, a term for that when you can't get the oxygen. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I definitely think that he is under the weather. But I think they pump him full of enough drugs that it, you know, it keeps him going. And and for some people, that can get you back to normalcy. And for others, you drop off a cliff. I've seen it both ways. Well, no, you know, he's, in, he's taking steroids, and he's taking yeah. not not a uh, uh, moderate steroid. He's taking about four times the dose that a normal person Oof. would get. Well, yeah, you, you do not want steroids. Well, I you mean, know. you want you want to see his droid rage. Last night he said that I'm not going to uh, let the uh, the um, uh, package for uh, COVID uh, help uh, financial package go through until I'm elected president. Okay, oh, yeah. and then this morning he changed his mind. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. Are we getting it? Yeah. Oh, I'll no, sign a limited no. one. You know. Uh, as long as I can put my, you know, my name on a check, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so he, he's really, I think, got a, got a problem with these steroids. This whole thing about, I feel better now than I felt in 20 years. Of course, you're going to feel terrific oh, yeah, if so you've good. got those right. steroids <laughs> in. Yeah. You know. Well, you I had a friend who, uh, <clears throat> she had uh, like skin rashes and stuff after she went on a vacation to Thailand and she she went to the doctor there and they, they gave her some steroid shot completely messed up her thyroid and like she started to gain weight and like just really messed her up you know so you don't want steroids if you can avoid them stay away from them you know that yeah. shows how sick he is they gave him steroids yeah yeah, yeah. so i mean they're giving him the Did steroids you see he said catching was a blessing from god not yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said something, John, and we didn't hear you. What were you going to yeah, say? Did you guys see that uh, the Covida video from uh, Oh Lincoln yeah, Project? yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> when he goes up on the balcony. They're playing, uh, you know, Avida. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you got you got to Google it. Look it up. I just see it put out. Who who did that? The Lincoln Project. You, you see the, the Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln Project. Project did that. Live in the yeah, yeah, you know, the, to the music of Covida. I mean, Avida. Yeah. Avida. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's up there on the balcony and shit. It's pretty funny. You know, you know yeah. what is is kind of telling in all of this, um, and I, I don't know how to parse it exactly, but um, it, it, it if it were any other president, we would feel sorry for him. We would be. Um, Praying for his recovery, even if it was Nixon or Reagan or Bush. I mean, you know, there's a point at which you go, well, you know, nice enough guy, got a nice family. We don't want to see him die. Uh, in this case, people. I, first of all, you've got people going, I don't think he's really sick. You, that was you, Charlie. <laughs> I yeah, heard that I not just from you, but from about a half a dozen <clears throat> other people yeah. I've talked to in the last couple of days. Yeah. That doesn't speak very well to the guy's character that you think he's faking a deadly disease. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm in a school of thought where I don't think he's as sick as they say he is. I think he might have uh, slight symptoms early on, and I think they just juiced him up. I think he probably told him, listen, you got some symptoms. And I think he probably said, listen, just juice me up with everything you got. I don't think so. I think, yeah. I think he's far worse. And I think they're just, 
masking all his symptoms with these yeah. drugs. Uh, Brian Ludwig, who tonight, for the first time, totally looks like Che Guevara. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, did you see? Did, did you see the debate at all? Oh, absolutely. And what did you think? I thought Pence was very condescending. You could tell oh, he was yeah. a closet. You could tell he was a closet misogynist because it was just <laughs> dripping out of his mouth. How uh, he tried to put uh, Kamala down, and I don't like Kamala, but uh, <laughs> I didn't vote for either one of them because I already voted. But, yeah. Uh, giving credit where credit is due, um, Kamala took. I believe Kamala won this. Yeah, yeah, I think she did too. Um, uh, I um, uh, I felt that um, he was very condescending, especially at one point he was going. Oh, and how happy I am to have a woman like you running as vice president, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You like the Negroes. I get it. Okay. Thank you. And she's got Chinese in it, too. She's got, uh, what does she have in her? She's Jamaican. Yeah. No, Indian. 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 Yeah. Indian. 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 Yeah. I think it's, she's Indian and Jamaican, I think. Yeah. 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 Hello, Vernon. How are you? So what did you take? <laughs> what did you take away yeah. from this debate? You mean besides uh, Black Lives Matter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Black yeah. Lives. Well, <clears throat> I, I think it's interesting that uh, Pence didn't answer a single question that the moderator posed. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Not a single question did he yeah. answer. Yeah, he sure. did what a politician normally does, although she she was answering some of the questions. Um, but what they do, uh, politicians sometimes, this is why I didn't, I never liked interviewing politicians. I always used to say, they'd say to me, oh, do you want to have so-and-so on the show? I said, nah, he's a politician. They go, well, what's wrong with the politician? And I said, they never answer any questions. They listen to your question, and then they answer the one that's in their head that they want to answer. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what he was doing tonight. And that's why I can't stand uh, ever having to, you know, deal with uh, with politicians as a guest because you're never going to get a straight answer out of them. And I told you that story of of, of uh, Jerry Brown when he was running for president. Uh, I said to him, um, uh, he ran for president. I didn't like him that much, and it was, you know, it was one of those kind of interviews, right? Safe and everything but then later on i had him on when he wasn't running and he was going after the highway patrol and he was going after the governor of the state at that time and he was going after the whole system and blah 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 blah. and i said to him i said i love you i said why couldn't you be this way when you were running for president and he said because i was running for president he says you got <laughs> handlers who tell you don't do this don't do that mm. shouldn't do this you got to lay low, can't go, you know. And he said, uh, you know, uh, uh, and, and that's what happens. I mean, uh, they're ru running for president and vice president now, and they got to be safe. In the case of Pence, he was really there just to excuse Trump. Yeah. yeah. Pence's wife came from the, from the audience with no mask on also. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kamala's uh, husband had a mask on, but she, you know, uh, the, yeah. still, she, yeah, it's good to have. But, but yeah, with no mask on with the Pence group, geez, you know, if they're, yeah, they can be affected too. So, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, and why and why didn't they do what they said they were going to do and throw them out if they didn't have a mask on? Yeah. Oh, by that time the debate was over. Yeah. Well, what they took it off during the debate. We don't oh, she know. took it off we when she know. came up on stage. Yeah, at the end of the debate. Oh, when she came up on stage, she took it off? That's when you put it on. But she wasn't wearing it when she went up. She on. wasn't wearing it when she walked up from the from the audience. I don't know if she had it on down there. Yeah. But she walked up with no mask on. Yeah. Those people are just being shit heels. You know? Yeah. I mean, they're in really? they don't care whose lives they're like, endangering. They just want to get their yeah. their point that of view across. Uh Oh, Alex, mm. uh, in answer to and my pot, my opinionated answer to yeah. your question as to why they didn't throw them out, why they didn't throw Karen of all names, Karen, that Karen, yeah. uh, out uh, for not wearing a mask, assuming that she didn't wear it at all 
throughout the entire debate, is just systemic of the two-tiered justice system we have. How's that? Emblematic. Emblematic, exactly. Thank you. How is that? Well, because he is Karen Pence, and I, Brian Ludwig, ain't, ain't shit compared to either one of them. I think it's a timid, timid nature of these people. Well, Zink Finkelstrom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, 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 like I, I got something coming on named Zink Finkelstrom. Uh, let's see who. Like let's see if this is going to be a Zoom bomb, or whether it's oh oh, oh, yeah, oh all that. <laughs> yes, it's a Zoom bomb. Let's get out of here, folks. <laughs> who is that guy? That's the Zink Finkelstrom. The, the one thing they're saying also is they're so laxed on <clears throat> on what their rules are that they just have to sign something saying that they tested negative 72 hours in that 72 hour window when they come there. So they're they're very relaxed on all their all their items that they're supposed to be very strict on. When they yeah, to yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, you know, oh, already they're right. actually having pictures on Facebook closing in on uh, extreme close-ups on one of Pence's eyes. Mm -hmm. his, uh, left oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. in the corner. Relating as to whether or not he already has. COVID. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, yeah. So, yeah, he has red in this one eye. But... Yeah, what, yeah, yeah, what is it with the redness in the eye thing? The redness in the eye thing. <laughs> red eye, pink eye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Trump pissed in it beforehand to let him know who's the boss and I'm marking his territory. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, well we I, do I, we do know that he was full of shit because he had a fly on his head for a while there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I missed that, but I, I I heard that. It was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, did, did, did you saw it? Did you watch it, Kevin? Yeah. He, yeah. That was on a little bit of a delay. Yeah, so I was eating dinner, so I didn't want to launch. <laughs> uh, what did you think? <laughs> Understandable. It was uh, pretty much what I expected. Um, I, I didn't, you know, I really didn't expect Pence to uh, avoid so many questions. I figured he would just sit there and bullshit. But you know, a puppet with no strings. What do you what, what do you expect? You know. Uh, yeah, he did exactly what I figured. He he was a puppet with no strings, and and a couple of the <laughs> questions he absolutely avoided completely. And uh, I think Kamala held her own and nailed him on a few things, but yeah, eh, it was kind of boring actually. Well, I like to see a train wreck once in a while, but yeah, but but what would you rather have, something like this or something like what went on a week ago? No, I don't. I don't like the complete train wreck, but I like a little action. But I think you know the lady that the Susan was. Uh, she was keeping it under control. She made Wallace look a little bit. I I wish that Kamala would have done to Pence what she did to Biden during yeah. the debates. Yeah, yeah. You know she is capable of that, yeah. and she didn't. She didn't. Didn't do that. Some say she did worse than the moderator. Some say that she did worse than Chris, Chris Wallace. It's oh, I thought Chris Wallace did a great job considering the the terrible situation he was yeah. handed. Right, right. that you got to consider the the work or the people he had to work with, or the things yeah. he had to work. You with. know, there was a there was an interview that Mike uh, that uh, Chris Wallace did with with Trump a couple of months ago, uh, in in a garden somewhere. I can't remember. Yeah. And I felt sorry for Chris Wallace after I saw that interview because it was like it was like pulling teeth to try and get an answer out of Trump. And do you think that carried over into the debate? I'm sure it did. Oh, I'm sure it carried over into the debate. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I you know, I think I think Chris Wallace thinks of himself as a fairly decent what do you call it? Fairly journalist. decent uh, well, journalist, well, yeah, well, interviewer, yeah, yeah, an interviewer, and I think he doesn't like to necessarily hew the Fox line, you know, but Fox yeah, seems to is. like him, yeah. so that makes me worry about him, you know. Well, neither did Shepard Smith, as I recall, unless he's still working there. Well, no, he he's at, he's at CNBC now. Yeah, he's at CNBC now. It was a good. I liked him a lot. Well, I I think uh, I think most people 
of a liberal bent uh, liked. Um, uh, <laughs> he had to do voiceover work. Actually. And I've seen his uh, show advertised that. on Fox. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hilarious. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys still think they're going to ramrod the, uh, that Amy Cohen Barrett, whatever the hell her name is? Uh, I think she's going to have a harder time than they believe now. I, I think that there's so much of a, there's so much going against even being able to take a vote on that right now, just simply because how many senators want to show up and breathe in each other's faces? Yep. Yeah, and to go through that process. Uh, it, here, McConnell was saying, oh, we're going to start the hearings next week. Well, this is, that was last week. Yeah, I mean, you know. Tell them to start in the Oval Office. Huh? Tell him to start in the Oval Office and talk to Trump about it. Maybe he'll get it. Uh, I hope he does. Well, wasn't, he'll 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 like he what? wasn't he potentially infectious during the, what was it, the East Rose Garden uh, ceremony where they brought her out? And then they yep. showed all the indoor meetings between, like, three or four people who were positive with everybody else in the room. Yeah. Like, yep. like so way, how did they not all... They, they probably all have it. Well, Amy Coney they, Barrett they, probably doesn't. Yeah. Because she, she had it back in August and she's recovered from it. Yeah, so she uh, might still have antibodies. What? So that's what they're claiming. I, I don't know. They're not do. sure. Yeah. Nobody is sure about that. Yeah. So they, they have a, so go, sorry to go back a little bit, but what Brian was talking about, yeah, I saw on Facebook, they're showing that I, and I noticed that I also. And I Googled it, and yeah, conventionitis is a symptom of COVID-19, and this is posted from over a week ago. Oh, I've seen wow. one, one to 3% come up with pink eye. Let me he, tell you, he asked, her, he asked her at one point that uh, if she's going to pack the court again, she and the, the president would be, President uh, Biden would pack the court yeah, again. Well, and so. nobody's uh, taking this into consideration. If I were her, my answer would be, well, if we do have to pack, if we do, if we do add additional justices, it would be an additional, what, four? Since there are 13 appellate courts, we would have I four have additional to get my justices system. chosen from those respective. No, the room is on appellate. fire. I just had to get myself a, a throat lozenge because I, uh, you, and my throat is getting a little rough for some reason. Could you imagine the things that Pence can do or does? Yeah. And he has no worry that anything that anybody's going to talk about him because I mean, <laughs> I mean, he could have had COVID, and you know, the whole time, and we nobody would know it, and nobody would talk about it because he can't do he literally can't do anything to get coverage next to Trump. That's true. What do you mean can't get coverage next to Trump? I, that I don't understand. I mean, even the, I mean, I didn't watch the debate, but so far every pop-up is about something about Trump. It's yeah. not about, you know, Pence or Harris or Biden. So mm -hmm. Trump, you go over Pence, shadows him. Pence, Pence could be, you know, uh, doing some crazy things and we'd never know about it. He has to feel so happy about the fact that the spotlight is away from him. He can get away with anything. Hide in plain sight. Well, yes and no. I mean, in any other circumstance, would Drudge have taken a picture of his eye and put it on the front of the Drudge report? That's a good point, yeah. You know, I mean, we're looking for everything. A Drudge report is still around? I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to bring it up now. And I haven't looked at Drudge since, like... Trump hates it because he's been critical of Trump. But Trump hates anything that people yeah, are critical of. Yeah, uh, Actually, he loves anything that uh, brings him attention. Yes, uh, Vernon. Have you guys heard about this uh, steroid that Trump is taking, the dex, dexamethorphan, yeah. metrazone, methazone, dexamethazone? That's steroid, and he's, mm -hmm. he's not on a normal dose. He's on a high dose. But what that's for is people who they've used it on people who were really critical COVID pneumonia and what it does is suppresses your immune system because when you get so inflamed with the COVID virus your immune system starts attacking itself it starts attacking your own body and they use that steroid to slow down your uh, uh, immune system 
but the bad side of that is it can actually let the virus continue to multiply unchecked. What, what is amazing to me is that they, <clears throat> boy, that they um, didn't give him one thing and see if that helped a little. And then maybe another thing, see if that helps him a little. Instead, they threw the whole thing at him at one time. The whole kitchen sink. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And th that sounds to me like a very clumsy doctor. Is it the well, the guy's an osteopath. Yeah. He's not a pulmonologist. Right. But he will say yes to anything Trump asks him to do. And that's the point. Who's the commander in chief? Yeah. Trump. Trump. Who's in the Navy? The doctor. The doctor. Uh, if the commander in chief gives you an order, you got to follow it. You got to follow it. You know. I have a question. If it, could 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 Trump have gotten like uh, complete blood replacement? Uh, sure, only if he used his fangs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it seems to me that he could do just about anything to stay alive. Yeah. Uh, he he could you know import uh, organs you know people would probably donate their organs for him you know no, the, the cults the cults, cults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah I gotta get some color in my face I need a, yeah, is, is, a, is there a beach somewhere I can go to folks <laughs> oh boy Speaking of cults yeah yeah maybe well, going that pancake oh. makeup that Trump uses. Mm. Yes, what were you going to say? What, what were you going to say, uh, John? I, I think the, oh. the doctor that he chose, mm -hmm. I mean, other than he is a military guy, he's not capable of, of making decisions on this kind of vascular uh, problems. Well, I want to know, we're all, uh, a, yeah. a lot of those doctors were Navy, weren't they? Yeah, it's a, it's a Navy hospital. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, well, but, you know, one of these things. Uh, Walter Alex, Reed is army. Walter Reed. Uh, army, army. Uh, listen, yeah. uh, yes, military hospital. Uh, but not anymore. Was, not anymore. It was. It's not any longer. Bethesda. I know, Alex. Yeah. You, you might know this, um, but I, I can tell you there. That uh, at points in my career, I had to get up on stage to announce something or or tell people, and I would get a jolt from that. So, like, even if I were sick. I could get up and announce the band and get everybody dancing and going. Then I'd go home and I would, I would just plop dead, you know. But for like a few, you get sort of an adrenaline. Well, for Trump, he's always on stage. Like he, I think he gets a, a thrill out of that. Like gets as long as he keeps yeah. doing that. Well, yeah. my my question is, what, what, there's a drug, that they give you that's a steroid, uh, to take care of certain situations, and I can't remember the name of it now. I think my wife was on it at one point. And uh, it is only like one quarter the strength of this stuff that they were giving him. And they're giving him this, what, twice a day? Once a day? How, how many times a day? You know. Yes, Vernon? Four times a day is what I heard. Four times a day? I mean, he's going to be taken down off these drugs in a couple of days, and he's going to crash yeah. like a mother. You know, and at that point, I think I want to leave the country. I mean, who knows sure, what? You, can, you, you know, can only match decisions and shit. Get ready with that Twenty Fifth Amendment for crying out loud! You yeah, know, now he's like this, hmm? more so than usual. Yeah. Oh, job. yeah. He's crazier than he ever was, and he the the craziness is being exacerbated by the fact that he's losing this election, and he knows it. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, Charlie. Sixteen points, Charlie. Yeah, uh, one of the side effects of, of the uh, steroid is delusions of grandeur. <laughs> so it makes him think he's stronger than he really is. Oh, so he's been on he's been on steroids all these years. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, that, no, I'm just I'm thinking that's like a megaphone to his already narcissistic personality. Now yeah. that's a good point. This is a very good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah, it amplifies well, it. God, Tony, what do you seem to be seeing as you watch all of this going down? You know. I'm, in, I'm actually still in the school of thought that I think he has the virus. 
but I think he's performing for everybody. When I see that picture on the balcony and him taking the mask off and making that face, to me, it's almost like it's like a movie to me. I think he's playing to the camera somewhat. Well, he's doing his, Mus his very best Mussolini. And you know what I think, Alex? I think if he loses the election, here's the question I pose. I don't think he's going to live more than two years because I think it's going to kill him if he loses. The, the notoriety will be gone in the spotlight. Can he live after this? He'll, like, find, he'll, fi there? he'll find something to do, but I don't know if he's going to live. I mean, I think he's his own worst doctor right now. And I think, am I right, Brian? I mean, he's giving himself bad prescriptions. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and he got on the air today, Brian. Uh, 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 Brian, the drug guy. Uh, 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 Brian, uh, he got on the air today saying, I feel so good. I want to make this treatment available to every American for free. Did you see that one? He said that? Yes. He's, yeah. he's dangerous, Alex. And, and it's going to be a what, cure by election day. Huh? Yeah. And what does that, what does that do to that company's stock, too? Yeah. Well, I mean, what it does overall is is not very good because it's making people think, oh, good, that I'll take this. Believe me, you do not. If you have COVID, you want this stuff, but you want it in proportions as you're getting sicker, not mm -hmm. all at once in the beginning as some kind of preventative, which it's not. Yes, Vernon. Did you hear what Kamala said tonight about if a vaccine comes oh. along would you take it she said well if dr fauci said that it yeah. was safe i'd be the first in line but if donald trump said it was safe i wouldn't take it and then he and went on a rant yeah, yeah. He, he, Pence turned that around and said oh you're advocating for no you know no vaccine and he turns her words around and he's and that's not what she said at all she just yeah. said i'm not gonna i'm not gonna believe it from trump but i'll believe it from fauci he tried to take everything she said and turn it around, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, his, and his one line about you're trying to pack the Supreme Court by adding two or three more people. What what's do you think? Doing? What what's he, what are they trying to do? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is a pretty much packed Supreme Court already. They, they put two on illegally, you know, or they're trying to put two on illegally. And you know what I wish she would have said when he said that? She should have said... You know what, Vice President, why can't we lay the woman to rest? Why do we have to rush? Isn't it disrespectful to not lay her to rest? She wasn't even in the ground yet, and you had your claws out. Isn't that disrespectful to the woman who served? Yeah, and then I, she went back to history she about... Wasn't that quick on she went back service. to history about Lincoln. <clears throat> she should have also followed that up with the history from 2016. Yeah, but I think she went to I think she went to Lincoln because it was a harder one for him to fight around, and she added in that particular case she said there was also a, a Republican Senate in place right. at the time, and he, she put the whole scenario it was identical to what happened back in 2016 yeah. when Obama tried to you know, and um, uh, she did she said that and he didn't really had to have an answer for that. He just mm -hmm. went on some other rant. Oh, well, yeah, but you guys, you want to put two more people on the Supreme Court. Tell me you're not going to. Well, you know, you're not president yet. You can't tell anybody really what you're going to and not going to do. Yes, Brian. Yeah. Um, the other thing, I, you jogged my memory, is the other thing she could have done regarding uh, court packing is that when, when, in addition to going back to Lincoln's time, she could have said, well, we didn't always have nine justices either, Pence. So... Yeah. You know? Yeah. Eat it. Didn't we have, I think we had 11 at one time and then we had five. Yeah. And then it went up to. Yeah, I'd be in favor of 11. Huh? I'd be in favor of 11. Well, I'd be I'm, in favor of 13. I'm, I'd be in favor of 11 and I'd be in favor of what they've proposed is that it's not a term for life, it is an 18 year no, term. That too. And mm, yeah. you have to stagger it so that every term. Two justices get appointed. And not yeah, just the Supreme right. Court either. The federal the district courts, all well, the courts. Well, you know, they made a big deal. Uh, 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 Trump made a big deal about, well, you know, when Obama was president. Uh, he could have uh, put people in those district courts, but he didn't. And in those, uh, you know, other courts around the country, but he didn't. You know why he didn't? 
He, he tried to, but Mitch McConnell. McConnell. He, he tried to, but Mitch McConnell prevented it from happening. So that it wasn't awesome. Obama's yeah. fault that he didn't have his judges in there. He's more deadly than Trump is. I'm yeah. sorry about that. Who McConnell is oh, he, yeah. He's a disgusting. Yeah, a Those are other ones. They get away with so much because Trump is a lightning rod. He takes Speaking all the Speaking of term limits, does. too. They have no term limits. Yeah. Uh, uh, what were you saying? Yeah, Good to say, Brian? Fine, Brian. Uh, the other question that, that he didn't answer was the smooth transition. If he <laughs> lost. Lose. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's cute. I like that. <laughs> they, um, they, he said, uh, yeah, so they asked about the transitional, you know, if he loses, will it be a smooth transition? To do and Pence wouldn't answer that. Pence says, oh, we're going to win because we're strong. And da, 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 da. he just kept going on, but he wouldn't yeah. answer that question. He never answered it. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to call Trump down and out because I could say everything's happened to him this week that could lose him an election. Uh, but he did everything he could to lose the last one. And look what happened. But yeah. but I think you see, I said this last night and I'll say this again. The thing that's happening and the problem that's happening is that really uh, I think America is just kind of tired of Trump. You know, they've just maxed out on Trump. Okay, we had four years of this comedy show. Let's get back to some serious business because we got some serious problems. But I don't know about that. How many seasons did Apprentice run? Well, it ran a couple of years longer than it should have because the last two seasons were in the can for at least a year each before they ran them. The four seasons of Trump presidents... I don't know. They might be able to go five or six seasons. Yeah, but it, we suddenly I think America realizes this isn't a reality show. Not when their neighbor is dying of COVID or their relative is dying of COVID. Huh? I don't have to say it like this, but I'm gonna, and I don't mean it in a disrespectful term for the people who died because it's a shame. But he, actually, the virus, I can't believe I'm going to say it, was probably the, their race in the hole, Alex, the, the Democrats, and them getting him out, I think. I, don't I, know, I, know. I look. I I look. I I know that some people might want to think that you know the Democrats are the worst people ever. He's handling them. Okay, I but I don't think there's a single Democrat that says, "Hey, this has been good for us." I think they would rather win without this happening. How about his mismanagement of it? I would mean. I would well, I think that his oh, his. Course. I think that I don't. I think him getting COVID is less of a plus for his campaign or negative for his campaign I mean he can't than, than the no. than the uh, his his handling of the debate a week ago I think that really hurt him because people didn't like the way he was acting it was, I mean and put it in perspective too if he can't protect himself in the White House and all these people are getting it it's almost like a, it's like the period at the end of the sentence if you can't protect your own house, you got to go, man. This show is well, over. You know, I got to tell you something. When he ran last time, he was running as an inc- as a uh, as a private citizen. It was running for the presidency. So like anything an he, anything he did, yeah, anything he did, people just kind of laughed off. Ah, that's Trump. Don't worry, he's not going to get elected, right? <laughs> and so he got away with a lot of stuff people mm-hmm. wouldn't normally get away with. Now he's trying to get away with that same stuff, but he's president of the United States. And that's a slightly different ball field he's playing from, you know. And and where it worked four years ago doesn't work when you're president. You know, when you're president, you want to show how presidential you are. You know, you you don't care if the captain of the Titanic has a a, a gray beard and a stalwart look in his eye as the ship is floating through the water. You mm-hmm. want to make sure that captain knows how to fucking steer a boat. How'd you miss the iceberg? He was right in front of you. <laughs> he was right in front of you, yeah. You should have seen that all along. But Hey, they hit the iceberg. They didn't think it did any damage. Really? That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. I still believe that. Well, it's just like what Pence said tonight. He thinks their response to the coronavirus has been ter- terrific. 
Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I want to know what response. I mean, I think that that's a question Have she should ask. Thing? What response are you exactly talking about? Because really, you've been sitting on your hands through this whole thing and only excusing it. Oh, it'll go away in the summer. Oh, it's just like a bad flu. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. Well, now we're up to over 210,000 people. What's your excuse now? We can't even have coffee in the bakery anymore. <laughs> well, it could have been over two million if we hadn't done yeah. what we did. I love that thing that uh, Kevin yeah. has there because that is a uh, that was one of the things Pence put out. You know, they were great at making up little posters. Mm. You know, twenty one yeah. days to uh, uh, stop the spread, but none of those twenty one ways of doing it was wear a mask. Exactly. Yeah. What was the original so, uh, number in there, Kevin? By the way, by the way, you know, an, an, mm -hmm. a, a, enough with this because something happened today that I got to bring up. Our governor, Governor Cuomo, he stopped at three sixty. Huh? I stopped marking it at three sixty. Oh. Three hundred and sixty. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> uh, today, he he. What he did is there are these certain hot clusters. That he wants to keep his clusters because he said if you let them get loose, they then become community spread. He wants to stop these clusters. A lot of them are in the uh, Orthodox Jewish areas. Uh, guess what these Orthodox Jews were out doing today? They were protesting. And how were they protesting? Did you see this, Jeff? No. They were burning masks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, right. I mean, what a bunch of morons. What absolute fucking yid idiots they are. You know? Wow. Oh. I mean, they're burning. He went to them, hat in hand, and said, look, we need to kill this thing. we got to stop it. We need your help. We need your blessing. We need you to tell your people. And he said this also to Catholics, to churches, and so on. Tell your parishioners. We got to stop this thing. We don't want it to come back. And they said, uh, he said that they, he, they seem to go along with him or seem to be on his side. Today, they're demonstrating against him along with a bunch of other people. Oh, we don't want to close our bars. We don't want to close our restaurants. We don't want to, we, we don't want to wear masks, you know. And so they're burning masks. It's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. It's going to continue. Oh, of course it's going to continue. But that kind of and, and I don't I don't think that even Biden winning can do a thing. We well, can't because do anything it, until January twentieth. And <laughs> and even then, I think it's too well. It's too late, too little, well, yeah, and no one's going to listen to him on that side. Well, uh, the the governor is now passing out thousand dollar tickets for unsafe gatherings. Okay. Uh, the uh, in the subways, if you don't wear a mask, they can hand you a. I think it's a fifty dollar fine. Uh, I think they've got to do more. I think they just got to say, look, we see you on the street not wearing a, a, a mask. You're getting a ticket. Now maybe you're not going to pay the ticket, but that's going to show up on your credit line, you know, and things like that. So you know, and start passing out these tickets like crazy. He said, you know, people, he said, well, uh, I'll be unpopular for doing that, say, says a politician. And the answer is, you're going to be more unpopular if that person's dead. Okay? So, I mean, uh, when I saw this today, I just went crazy. I just said, well, you don't have respect for anybody. You know? Well, these anti maskers are very passionate. I uh, wonder if you're underestimating just tell, um Stupid, intense, how, how well, stupid, they're, they're, how intense their stupidity is. But well, you know passion. something? This could be the Darwin theory, the Darwin uh, thing at work, yep. the Darwin that effect at work. Uh, you know, that if they keep not wearing masks, maybe it'll thin out the herd of, from the stupid. Unfortunately, there'll be collateral damage, but, you know. No, but, I mean, look, look at Trump and all his yes. people. That's thinning out the herd right there. There's Darwinism at work. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but it doesn't just target stupid people. It targets yeah. healthy, innocent people next to them. Well, that's but that's because these people aren't thinking in those terms. Yeah, They're not thinking. Nobody at that Rose Garden event is an innocent bystander. And she has her kids there, too. And her kids yeah. not wearing masks right yeah, in the middle of the open. Yep. Yep. There, there's one picture of people. Man, I wish I would have taken a picture of CNN had 
and they showed all the people who who got it in the in the in the audience. Yeah. And there's two guys in between two of those senators, and there's two guys with masks on, and they didn't get it. Yeah. At least at that time. Yeah. Well, I mean, Pretty also good. Baron was there. A little girl was there. I mean, come on. What do you do? And they weren't wearing masks either. You know, I mean, and they got this. Uh, they got this idea that if you're outdoors, it's harder to get it. Well, it's not as easy to get it, but you can still get it. When you breathe, the air goes straight up. That's why. Yeah. Bill. <laughs> Bill Barr, by the way, has quarantined himself because, <laughs> well, because he was there. Did you see him? Yeah. He was up there almost tongue kissing Hope Hicks. <laughs> you know. Um, Can't unsee that. Oh. It was, you know, I, I was hoping Bill Barr would get it. That was my, that was my sick hope on this. You know. Well, keep <clears throat> waiting. You might get your wish. Huh? Well, I mean, keep waiting. Keep hoping. You might get your wish. Well, you know, it's all the fatties that have the, have the highest risk, you know, age and, and obesity. Goodbye. See you later. Chris Go Christie. Ahead. Speaking of Chris Christie. Yeah. Chris Christie. Well, he, he said he's going to the hospital as a precaution. Uh, yeah, right. And he should, he should. He yeah. was there. Yeah, you know. But I mean, they they were all idiots not to wear masks. Well, we've all been tested. Well, when were you tested? Two days ago. Maybe you got it yesterday. You know. Uh, maybe it wasn't ready for that test to work. Okay. The tests yeah. aren't a hundred percent sure. Oh well, we did it outside. Whoop de fucking do, you know. If you had all worn masks, then you would have probably all been safe. But you weren't standing six feet apart from each other. So well, I mean, Whatever. the reason why you wear a mask is if you can't be socially distant. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I don't think they were socially distant. What I'm saying is, I don't think they were socially distant either. So yeah, they're they're good and righteously fucked as far as I'm. Oh yeah, no, it's terrible. Well, they it were terrible. shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I, our governor in his speech uh, yesterday used that as a perfect example of when people say, well, what, what is a, you know, a, a, a gathering like that? Why is that a problem? He says, just look. Look at the Rose Garden. Look at how many people got sick. Yeah. And, you know, we still don't know how many of those are going to get sick in the end. How many little faces can we X off in that photo? It's true. I'm when somebody's got to go. Uh, what, what is this now? What's we got to... What does it say? It says Biden Harris. Biden Harris. That's the fly. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's going to be a, there's gonna be a million of them. You, you, yeah. Nonstop. Oh my God. We okay. are going to be up to our ass in memes by tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, I uh, saw a meme on William Barr. Speaking did of you him. did you make Where that up? By the way, Vernon, black flies matter. No, uh, George Takai tweeted that. Oh, oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get, that's the best one so far. Yeah, he sent a picture of himself with his mask on, and that was the caption, Black Flies Matter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, oh, I just got an email. What? Pretty clever. I, I can now have uh, Singapore Airlines first class meal delivered to me for $900. <laughs> oh, very good very good right. they, rather than give you a ticket they give you the experience of having a bad flight I see <laughs> anyway this, I'm playing the theme here oh, it's been kind of nice tonight you know and a lot of people too Eddie uh, Van Halen in memoriam yeah Eddie Van Halen we mentioned yeah. him last night <laughs> oh and there's Adrian there's our there's our uh, our poster child for the show uh, Jeff, thank you. Thank you, John Larkin. Thank you to uh, uh, Charlie Wallace. Thank you, Bree. Thank you, uh, um, uh, Tony. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, and uh, uh, Thank you to Brian. And thank you, Vernon. And thank you to the other Brian and the Brian S. Adrian. <laughs> Good night, Adrian. Wave goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> there she goes, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. How about that? They're okay. They're just fine. Okay. Bye-bye, all of you. And uh, uh, there'll be another citizen panel coming up right now, uh, right after us, uh, with the intersection in Jack Bishop. Okay? 
Uh, and then uh, we'll be back again here tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And also, please be careful out there and wear a mask because really you're protecting somebody else. And that way you're respecting them. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye-bye.